Welcome to Eaton Power Quality's How To Series. In this video, you will learn how to install and configure a network management card through five informative sections. Section 1 Installation of the Network Management Card. Section 2 Configuration of the Network Management Card. Section 3 Configuration of the Web Browser. Section 4 Installation of the Environmental Monitoring Probe. Section 5 Configuration of the Environmental Monitoring Probe. The network management card is hot swappable, which means that the card can be installed into the UPS without shutting it down. Locate the blanking cover on the back of the UPS. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the retaining screws from the blanking cover. Remove the blanking cover from the UPS. Line the network management card up with the open slot and insert. Replace the retaining screws. Locate the port on the network management card identified as Ethernet. Connect the Ethernet cable into the port. In approximately 2 minutes and 30 seconds, there will be a green UPS data LED flashing continuously. If the card fails to connect, remove the card and reinsert. Configuration of a network management card within an environment where the network is addressed by a DHCP server. The written instructions can be found in the network management card user manual located through Power Quality. Dot Eden dot com. To begin, connect the loose end of the RS-232 cable, which is connected to the setting slash sensor of the network management card port into the COM port of a PC. Once the physical connection is made, launch a hyperterminal type emulator to configure the serial connection. Once launched, the connection description text box will appear. Enter the name desired for the UPS system and press OK. Using the Connect To text box, choose your designated COM port for your connection and select OK. Select the COM port properties. Configure as bits per second, 9600, data bits, 8, parity, none, stop bits, 1, flow control, none, select OK. Once the screen opens, press Enter to proceed. Activate the maintenance menu by entering the password of admin in all lowercase. Press enter. Choose option 2 for network configuration by typing the number 2. Since our network is addressed by a DHCP server, type the number 1 and verify the provided information is correct. Once confirmed, select the option to exit network settings by typing the digit 0. Lastly, Choose the option to exit from the Eaton Network Management Card by typing the digit zero. Configuration of the Network Management Card within an environment where the network is not addressed by a DHCP server. Once the physical connection is made, launch a hyperterminal type emulator to configure the serial connection to the card. Once launched, the connection description text box will appear. Enter the name desired for the UPS system and press OK. Using the Connect To text box, choose your designated COM port for your connection and select OK. Select the COM port properties. Configure as bits per second, 9600, data bits, 8, parity, none, stop bits, 1, flow control, none, select OK. Once the screen opens, press Enter to proceed. Activate the maintenance menu by entering the password of admin in all lowercase. Press enter. Choose option 2 for network configuration by typing the number 2. Since the network is not addressed by a DHCP server, we will need to identify and modify the settings as needed. Select the option to modify network settings by typing the digit 2. For each of the following questions, you can press return to select the provided value shown in the braces, or you can enter a new value and press return to submit. Once you either accept or replace all of the values, the new configuration will be saved. In order for the new configuration to become active, reset the network management card. You must first exit out of the network settings by typing digit zero. Next, select the reset option provided for the network management card by typing digit one. Select the reset option by typing digit one. The card will reset, which will take a few moments.
Once you see the request to enter password to activate the maintenance menu, the reset of the card will be complete. At this point, type the password, which is admin in all lowercase letters. Press enter. Choose option 2 for network configuration by typing the number 2. Type the number 1 and verify that the provided information is correct. Once confirmed, select the option to exit network settings by typing the digit 0. Lastly, choose the option to exit from the Eaton Network Management card by typing the digit 0. Configuration of the web browser. The next section will demonstrate how to configure the network management card settings within your web browser. First, open your web browser, enter the IP address assigned to the network management card in the address bar and press enter. We will review and define each section in order to allow the basic setup to be completed. Please reference the Network Management Card User Guide for detailed application instructions. The UPS Properties section provides a drop-down menu in order to view additional information. The UPS Status page provides basic information regarding the operation of the UPS, actual backup time available, and status of the battery. The UPS Alarm page displays all alarms that have been activated. The Power Usage page provides an average power usage which is the average consumption on the last hour of each output as well as the cumulative power usage which indicates the consumption accumulated of each output since the last reset. The About Your UPS page provides all of the specific details on the UPS and cards such as serial numbers, part numbers, and firmware version. The UPS control section requires a password and username for security purposes. The default password and username will be admin in lowercase letters. This page enables triggering of startup and shutdown sequencing for the UPS and main output controlled outlets. The system provides six different startup and shutdown commands which can only be enabled by selecting execute. The weekly schedule section provides the administrator the ability to optimize power consumption or program a reboot of protected equipment at a designated time. The shutdown parameter section allows a configuration of the UPS operating parameters in battery mode and for power restoration. With intelligent power protector connected to the card, each machine is properly shut down before the UPS output is turned off. The measurements section displays details concerning the UPS and other operating measurements. The event log section provides a record of the events experienced by the UPS. A total of 435 events can be saved. The system log section provides a record of the system specific events experienced by the UPS. A total of 435 events can be saved. The email notification section enable the user to set up an email or SMS alert source. Up to four recipients can receive email alert notifications. In order to set up the email notifications, enter the recipient's email address in the recipient field and change to enabled. Select the types of files and determine how often the information will be sent. Save the selection. On the right hand side, select the types of alarms which the user would like alert notifications to be sent. The Email Message Settings tab allows the notifications to be customized. The following settings are for advanced modifications and should only be completed by the system administrator. The Network Settings menu allows the administrator to configure the network parameters of the card. The Radius menu allows the administrator to configure the network radius parameters of the card. The LDAP menu allows the administrator to configure the LDAP settings on the card. The System section enables the customization of the information located on the UPS Properties pages. The Notified Applications section allows the administrator the ability to manage, set, and test the notified applications utilized. The Access Control section enables the administrator the ability to configure parameters for enabling secure access to the card via a web browser. The SNMP section allows the administrator to configure SNMP security parameters. The Time section allows the administrator to set the date and time information for the card. The Firmware Upload section enable the administrator to upload firmware revisions. An optional device which can be used with the network management card is the Environmental Monitoring Probe, also known as the EMP. The EMP provides remote monitoring for the UPS environment. The function of the EMP is to send alerts based on pre-programmed thresholds in order to indicate changes within the UPS environment. In order to establish a connection between the EMP and UPS, connect a standard Ethernet cable into the slot identified as setting sensor on the network management card while connecting 
the opposite end to the port in the EMP. The status section provides the current environmental conditions for the UPS. The settings section enable the actual environmental settings to be configured in order to trigger notification alerts when needed. The log section provides a list of all the events posted from the EMP. Thank <laughs> you.